Hello, I'm Dr. Denise Rowan, the bassoon instructor at Mississippi State University. I'm going to offer you some suggestions pertaining to the bassoon audition material for the 2015-2016 Mississippi Lions All-State Band Audition. As listed on the Mississippi Bandmasters website, the material is from Section E, numbers 30 and 45, from The Method for Bassoon by Julius Weissenborn. These two etudes are a selection from Weissenborn's 50 Studies for Bassoon. First, I will talk you through each etude, then I will perform the etude. Let's start with number 45, Larghetto. Tempo marking 48 to 60. I will play it with the dotted quarter note equaling 56 to 58. That will give you a little latitude with your tempo selection. The piece is in E-flat minor with an Italian word, dolorosamente, which literally means in anguish. So let's just say the piece should be played very romantically. We certainly don't want it to sound like you're in pain. It's important to adhere to the hairpin crescendo, decrescendo markings. When I play this study, I will add some dynamic contrasts to enhance the romanticism of this piece. You will need to mark your breaths carefully and breathe at the same place every time you play this study. Now for fingerings. They are fairly standard throughout the work, but there is one exception. Look in the second measure on line two. In the third measure of that line, you will need to perform the A flat on the back of the bassoon with the right thumb so you can play the following G flat with the baby finger on the right hand on the front of the bassoon, which is followed by a B flat. Again, played with the right thumb. Let me show that to you, okay? You're going to play, let me turn my stand here. You're going to play A flat with this key down here. Then you're going to play G flat up here. And that would be with your baby finger. Then you're going to play B flat again on the back of the bassoon right here. Now you're going to see that combination throughout this piece because of the key. You're going to see A flat, G flat, B flat. Okay, in the third measure of that line, you have a B flat followed by a G flat, again played with the baby finger on the front of the bassoon. In the last measure of line three, you have a rhythmically challenging measure as well as a fingering issue with a B flat followed by a G flat played on the front of the instrument by the right pinky followed by a D flat to a fork E flat combination. So here you have the D flat followed by the fork E flat combination, okay? In the last line, I suggest you take a breath following the high C flat, thereby giving you enough air to complete the diminuendo, diminuendo to a double piano ending on a low E flat. Sometimes it helps on those low notes as you decrescendo if you'll pull the reed just slightly out of your mouth. I know it's hard to see, but I am pulling it up just a little bit so that, <clears throat> excuse me, I can control that E flat and I can play it softly and in tune. As you get softer on these low notes, um, you're gonna need to slide your pinky on that combination from the low A flat, because you're gonna get it on the front of the bassoon. Here, there's the A flat, and you're gonna have to slide it to the F and then gently tone the E flat. So there's the A flat sliding to the F. I hope these suggestions will benefit you as you prepare this piece. Now I will perform the work for you. <laughs>
look at Etude 30. Allegro aside, tempo 120 to 132. I will perform it about 128. Again, giving you a little attitude with the tempo. This piece is also in a minor key, C minor. Consequently, you will have many B naturals, so be careful. Breathing is going to be an issue in this study. Again, I strongly recommend you mark your breaths and stick to them. Here's my recommendation for breathing. Breathe after bar one of the second line, after the first eighth note in bar three of the third line, at the end of line four, at the quarter rest in bar four of line five, after bar one of line six, after the first eighth note of bar five in line eight, and that should take you to the end of the piece. Again, you must adhere to the hairpin crescendo and decrescendo markings, as well as the diminuendo and retard in the final two measures. Other than that, the only dynamic marking you have is the poco forte in measure one. Notice the arrowhead staccato marks over the first eighth note in each measure. This indicates an accented staccato as opposed to the staccatos over the last two eighth notes in each measure. These last two eighth notes should lead to the accented staccato at the beginning of each measure. This is necessary in order to make musical sense of this work. As I perform the work, you will hear me include some dynamic contrasts and additional crescendo dos and diminuendos. Boy, I said that funny, didn't I? Additional crescendos and diminuendos, as the music is implied. The fingerings are generally straightforward. I will include a suggested fingering for measure three of line eight. You don't necessarily need to play this measure with the standard fingerings. There's an easier way to play this measure. First I will explain it, then I will demonstrate it. You play the high G with the normal fingering, going to the F sharp, just lift the right hand pinky, then replace it to return to G. Going from G to A flat, just lift the index finger on the right hand, playing A flat with the F key rather than the G key. Let me show you, okay? So you're going to play G normally. I'm gonna to try to raise my bassoon here. G, okay, then you're gonna to go to um, G flat, F sharp, G flat, with this way. Then you're gonna go back to G and then you're going to go to A flat. So you got G, F sharp, G, A flat. Okay? The remaining notes in that measure fall into place. Now you can play that measure with the standard finger. You don't have to use this fingering I just showed you. If you want to use it, it's there to be used. If you don't, you can play it with the standard fingering as is indicated. Don't get confused in measure one of line nine with F sharp, E sharp, F sharp. This is simply F sharp, F natural, F sharp. Okay, now I will perform the work. <laughs> Thank you. 